Welcome to this series on JavaScript. In this first video, we're going to take a moment just to talk a little bit about what JavaScript is and how it's interpreted by your browser. And uh, we'll look at a quick example as well, and then we'll go ahead over to the browser and just inspect the page and take a look at the source code and see how and why JavaScript works in the browser. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm not going to set up a document or anything like that with a doc type and a head. I'm just simply going to go ahead and I'm going to type in uh, a script script tags, which we'll look at in the next video. Um, so I'm typing script tags here and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create an alert here. And what this is going to do is it's basically just going to bring a pop up window inside of the browser with just an OK button just to get rid of this. So I'm just going to type here. Hello. Now, if I head over to my browser and I refresh, you can see that it says the page at localhost because I'm working on a local server. You can do these examples throughout the series within files on your desktop or just files within your document area on your computer. You don't need to be running a server for this because JavaScript is a client side language. Uh, everything's interpreted and run in the browser and it's compiled within the browser and then run. So you don't actually need a server to be able to work with this. So you don't need to upload anything. You can get started straight away by just creating a file and just working with that file. As long as everything that you write is valid, it will work. So you can see that we've got a hello dialog up here with an OK button. I'm going to go ahead and hit that and we're back to where we started. Now I'm going to go ahead and view the page source here. Now you can see the entire source code of this file. You can see that we've got the alert there with the hello text in the middle of it, the script tags on the outside. Everything that we write in JavaScript will be visible to the users that are using the website. So be wary that when you are perhaps including any sensitive information, if you are writing anything that you wouldn't want anyone to see, be careful because anyone can see this, whether it's an external file or you're writing it just on the page like you can see at the moment. So let's go ahead and take a look at what actually happens uh, within the browser at this point. So what's happening is when we refresh, the page is being hit and you can see that within our body at the moment, you can't see, well, well within the head, this is automatically being sort of placed in the head because we have no, no structure. What's happening is when I refresh, this dialogue is being uh, induced and then when I hit OK, the rest of the code will be run. So this is called a synchronous command, if you like, because what's happening is it's blocking anything else happening on the rest of the page. You can see that we've got this sort of circular loading within Chrome here. Uh, when I go hit an OK, the rest of the code will be run. Now we can demonstrate this just by putting another alert underneath. So I'll type in there, for example. So we've got hello there within two different dialogues. Now, when I go ahead and run this, you'll see we get hello first. There's no uh, existence of this other alert. It's just hello. When I go ahead and click OK, then we get this there box appear. So that's just an introduction of how this works within the browser and what it is. Um, browsers say Chrome has a JavaScript engine. Uh, Chrome has an engine called V8, and this is just how the JavaScript is being processed and run or executed, if you like. And different browsers will have different engines that they use to compile and execute the JavaScript and display it to the user. And this is really important because when you are working with cross browsers, you have to really make sure that everything is working perfectly in each browser that you develop for. So let's say we're just supporting Chrome, Firefox and Internet Explorer. They have different JavaScript engines. So what's going to happen is, is that you're going to need to make sure that in each browser, the code that you're writing works the same, um, because chances are that you'll get to a stage where particularly in older Internet Explorer versions, your code might not work. Now, you may choose not to support these browsers, but you also need to think about future as well. So you need to think about future browsers. Now, don't worry too much about this because we're going to be going through the very basics of JavaScript just to get you up and running with knowing how to build applications and understand other people's code. But it is useful to know that you can then go on to work with libraries such as jQuery, which allow for a seamless cross-browser experience. So 
we have particular JavaScript libraries that help us write code by doing all the hard work in the background for us and we can just go ahead and use these libraries and we'll be looking at how we use these libraries a little bit later on in the series we'll have a sort of introduction to how we might go ahead and implement them on our page and exactly what's going on on the page as well so that's a little introduction to JavaScript. It's running in the browser. You can go ahead and you can create a file that allows you to write this code in there. For example, the file that I'm working with is just this index file here. You can go ahead and create this file on your desktop, in your document area, it really, really doesn't matter. Go ahead and create a file with an HTML extension, load it into your browser, load up the file that you're working with in your text editor, and you can go ahead and you can start writing out code.